Gotta get it right I remember back when I had the bitch now I gotta see it happen We are in beautiful Beechhurst Also Whitestone 11357 uh, I have a showing today and I wanted to bring you guys along. This is a two bedroom. It's at La Harve. It's on the third floor and it's a really spacious unit. You're looking at over a thousand square feet uh, on the inside with your own personal terrace. And then you don't even have space wasted for a laundry machine or anything like that because that's in the basement. So here we are. Beautiful La Harve. This place has a pool, gym, and views. All right, so here we are, front of the building, and the age is not here yet, so I'm gonna look at the time. It is 12.36, and I have some messages. There's an agent that wants to show the property tomorrow at 11.30, which is nice. We'll see if that's doable, and and then I have some requests. So here I am, and fortunately this tripod is short, so I gotta buy a taller one. Hey there. So it's almost show time, and this is part of, you know, part of what we do. Uh, we set up these times, coordinate with the sellers, with the buyers, with other agents, and um, sometimes we have these, your keys, and other times uh, the owner will be the one that will allow us in or allow the other agents in. This is the entrance to a beautiful two bedroom co op uh, here at La Harve, third floor unit. And um, let me take you guys around. So, this is the view from the, the entrance, right? You have big windows throughout. That there, right there right there is the beginning of the patio that you have for yourself one thing when we first walk in to uh, an apartment or a house or what have you is we turn on all the lights so that it shows the size uh, people can appreciate the apartment more so that's what we're doing now uh, so there you have we have light and the owners prepare, they have everything organized, and now it's just a matter of making sure that all the lights are on. And that freaked me out, but that's a cat. Yep, totally scared me. And then, besides the cat kind of in the way, I'm going to the master, and look. Nice. This is perfect. So, again, this is the master bedroom. And why I say perfect is that they left the drapes open so you can appreciate the size of this room. So you have some light. And then you have a monstrous closet. And here we go. The thing is that with the co-op, it's not just about the owner accepting an offer, it's also about whether or not those buyers qualify for the, uh, the board. And those qualifications could be something as, uh, as involved as a debt to income ratio, not going above a certain amount per month. Uh, it could be income, uh, what number they want you to have. Um, it could be, you know, they will have credit. They'll also look at that, they'll look at delinquents, they'll look at bankruptcies, they'll look at everything. They'll run a background check. Um, so there's a lot that plays into it. It's not just about money. Um, so that's something to be you know, consider of, considerate of either when you're looking to buy and or when you're looking to sell. Uh, because those are very um, important details that come into play and you don't really know um, you really need to find out um, what the requirements are for the development. That way you can reduce the risk of a board rejection 
And even with all that said, even with minimizing that risk and only accepting offers from people that would, based on the requirements of the board, qualify, the board may still reject. So you have to have a little bit of patience, but also be practical and try to do as much due diligence as possible. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. And uh, that's one of the main differences between a house purchasing or selling a house versus a co-op or a condo. Uh, condos are a little more lenient. Uh, Co-ops, you don't actually own uh, the unit. You own shares in the development. Uh, so it's basically like owning stock within a corporation. Uh, that's really what it boils down to. And uh, you have a board and, and they develop the rules and all that kind of stuff. So um, it, it's a little bit different um, when it comes to a house. You just have to worry that they have the funds to purchase. Because in this case, in a co-op, the person could be pre-approved from any lender, from their favorite lender. So they, they, could, be, they could hand you a pre-approval as part of their offer prove that they can afford the place and that is not enough. So it's really a bit of a process and it needs to be done carefully uh, to minimize again the potential rejection of anybody that's looking to purchase. With a home, as long as they have that pre-approval and they, the buyers um, work with the bank to get the money, the commitment, um, then things have a tendency to go better. Uh, there are still issues that can happen, but it's not like a co-op where you have to ask, uh, agree to to price and terms, and then wait on another body, a uh, third party, to decide whether or not they qualify to buy your house. So that, my friends, was a super quick showing. And I like those. Uh, I used to be worried about them. I used to be like, oh man, they left quick. They don't like it not the case. I sold the house recently where I believe the showing was a total of 90 seconds and it was a house for 1.1 million dollars and I, I, the owner was like, oh, I guess they didn't like it and I told them, don't be so sure. There's a lot of times that people just know, you know. I've had people that spend almost an hour in a property. They have no interest. But then you have somebody who's in there for seconds, literally. Let's see what the rest of the day holds. I know Starbucks is in my future. Immediate future. Switch it up, coming up, have had you want it, bro, ask myself every day. I stop playing, now I'm in the game. I stop playing, now I'm in the game. I stop playing, now I'm in the game. Nothing's ever gonna be the same. Gotta get it right. Gotta get it right. I remember back when.